go ahead and grab yourself a note card. And this step card is going to be about completing a residual plots data table. Right with me, that's what goes on the front of your card. Now we need to get some data in order to make this happen. So let's go over to Desmos and start a table here. And we are going to enter do that into one of those eating contests and record his um, number of kilos he was able to eat on each of his training attempts for one of those eating contests. So you are going to pause the video if you need to and transfer this table right here onto your card on that side right there. Okay, hopefully you were able to get that down. We're going to go back to Desmos and for these data points, we are going to need a line of best fit. So we are going to use our little Cody code to get that. And there it generates that y equals 0.25x plus 1.9. 0.25x plus 1.9. I'm going to write it at the top here, that y equals 0.25x plus 1.9. Okay, so in our data table, we now need to enter the, um, we have the actual values and we need to enter the predicted values in to this next column of our table here. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take the x value, we're going to plug it in and to this line of best fit, and we are going to enter our values here into the predicted. I'm going to do that, you work on that, and press pause on the video right now. All right. I have entered all of the x values that are over here into this equation for the line of best fit in order to generate the predicted values. In the last step card, we saw that residuals were found by subtracting the predicted from the actual. So this table is set up in a nice way where you can take this number right here, the actual value, minus the predicted value here, and you will generate the residual values. Go ahead and finish that out for yourself on this step card if you need to, or make a note that you are going to do actual minus predicted. And that is how you complete a residual plots data table.